Show me here then. Ever wonder what it looks like inside of a gas hot water heater? Well, today we're doing that. Let me take you to the journey of what it looks like inside this bad boy. Let's go. All right, guys, we just finished peeling off the jacket. So in essence, this is the tank. This what you see here is a, a jacket or the cover. You guys can see right here. This also the insulation. So this is a tank, insulation, the jacket. So right now we just finished cutting part of the jacket off. Now we have access to the insulation. We have to remove this insulation to get access to the actual tank. We're gonna cut a hole, again, right through the tank so we can show you close and inside what the tank looks like. So we're gonna keep it close close access, we're gonna cut this thing out and uh, show you what it is inside the tank. I don't know about you, but I'm eager to know what's inside this tank, so stay tuned guys. Hey guys, what everybody wanted to see and what I wanted to see, so let's do it. I got the honor of taking this out myself. All right. All right, mi Now you're gonna get first access, VIP access to what it looks like inside the gas hot water heater. So let me show you guys. So this right here is where the magic happens. So water sits in this actual storage tank you guys can see here. So we cut out this door so you guys can take a look. This is where the, all the flue gas goes through. So on the bottom is the burner. The flue gas goes through this tube, we call it a blast tube. And has a baffle in there. All the baffle is doing is just slowing down um, the heat process so you get better and more efficiency out of the hot water heater to get so you can have the heat exchanger here so when this gets really very very hot it actually does the heat transfer and the water absorbs the heat that's how you get hot water this over here is called the dip tube and the purpose of the dip tube is cold water comes down cold water stays on the bottom hot water stays on the top that's the purpose of the actual dip tube but this is what happens inside a hot water heater so like again this is the exhaust pipe it goes all the way up up here, there's your baffle right up here. And again, all the baffle does is just slows down the, the heat going up the chimney. So you got better heat exchange. You have a more efficient hot water heater. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, listen, that's what I tell you guys. Why not open it up and see exactly what goes on? Because now you have a better visual and understanding how a hot water heater looks like internally and also how it works. So guys, this is what it is. Also. I don't know if we have something here, but this is the sediment inside the water, water heater, and you do not do your maintenance. You see all this shit, all this crud? That's your water. So this is called scale. Go around here, and if I test the walls, it's not that bad, but it's been sitting here for quite a while. But you get the point, you get the picture. You do not want this in your bathing water because, listen, I don't know about you, but I don't want, I don't want a bathing shit. So guys, do your preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is key to everything that has to do with HVAC in your plumbing. All right, guys. You wanna see what the bottom of a hot water heater looks like? This is what it looks like right here. Take a look. Boom. So that, what it looks like on the bottom of the hot water heater so you guys can actually have a VIP access and close look on what it looks like on the bottom of the hot water heater. This is the actual bottom of the hot water heater. This is called the burner assembly. So if you're looking at this directly, this will actually be the front of the hot water heater. So this is on top of the hot water heater, on top of this burner, you can see the pilot, the burner assembly, the pilot right here. This right here is your vent. So what that is, that's where you get fresh air because you know the three elements of a combustion is you need, you need air, which you're breathing in, so you need oxygen. You also need fuel, which in this case is natural gas, and you need, you need a pilot, something to turn on. In this case, you have a, a pilot right here, a standard pilot. So that's what you need in order to have an actual fire. So another thing is a lot of people don't know, especially when you have like dusty basements, um, a lot of debris, a lot of cats and dogs that have a lot of hair or uh, lint from a dryer. This actually gets clogged up on the bottom. It looks something like this. And what people don't know is, this actually breathes, so it sucks an air through the bottom. So if this right here is mesh, 
is full of lint, hair, whatever it may be, and it's clogged up, you may not even turn on the pilot. So guys, quality preventive maintenance, always make sure that this is clean and it's clear of any debris because if this is dirty, that would, could be part of the reason why your pilot is not turning on or your, when you have main flame, your actual flame is dying out because you're losing oxygen. You need oxygen to have fire. So this is what it looks like on the bottom of the tank. Again, this is where the air goes in. This is the burner assembly. If the air comes in this way, this is basically like a chamber. Come over here, I want to show you guys. Now, come take a look over here. So this is actually like the bottom of the water heater itself. You guys can take a look. Now look where that hole is at. And that's where the magic happens. That's actually considered the heater changer right there. That's what you see. So yeah, you're heating up the bottom of the hot water heater, but as the flue gas goes through, you're heating the water inside the actual um, tank. And that's how you're heating up, or that's how you heat up the hot water. So guys, this is what it is. Listen, you can't get any better than this. You got a sneak VIP access to what it is to be inside of a hot water heater. Now, we're gonna do the rest. We're actually gonna cut it and see actually how it looks like with the jacket off. So stay tuned. Okay, me hit then. So now you get to look what a gas hot water heater looks like internally. So you get in it first hand from Louis the Boilerman himself. So guys, you want to change the inner rod at least every three to five years. It's very important. Most people don't do it, and then they wonder why their tanks go bad within a few years. It is what it is. It's okay. I like that because it gives me a job. And all the plumbers out there, I'm sure they're happy and they understand where I'm coming from. But guys, this is what it is. If you have anything you want to say, please hit the bell button, leave a comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or just Google Louis the Boilerman, L-O-U-I-E, The Boilerman, or you go to our YouTube channel, New York Boiler and Air Condition Repair, and we'll love to hear from you. Ooh-wee! Whip-bop!